The main challenge that the energy industry and all of us today in society are facing in terms of the energy transition is the energy trilemma. Security of supply, the cost of energy itself, and the need to be green or the sustainability component. What the pandemic and the war in Ukraine has shown is how vulnerable energy systems can be, how reliant on thermal we are, and also how the supply chain across the world can be disrupted. With the Hydrogen Zone project, we solved the challenge of intermittency. That typically thermal sources have solved previously. We are to develop the world's first hybrid integrated power plant, combining hydropower, floating solar and batteries. These technologies are actually very complementary to each other and they're highly symbiotic. But I guess the bigger question is what is intermittency? Solar PV will only produce energy when the sun is shining. It is limited by short-term weather conditions. Hydropower energy can come in, which is dispatchable, but it is also limited by long-term weather conditions. It can replace solar during the night, but it cannot handle short-term variations of solar, for example, caused by cloudy sky. And that's where the battery comes in. You take that flexibility and you take that storage and you use it to kind of level and shape the generation profile in a way that it matches the demand. The better you can match it, the, the less of a problem intermittency is. I think we absolutely need to harness the ability for hydropower to provide intermittent power, the ability for solar to help reduce the pricing, and the ability for batteries to deploy on short term. By optimizing the existing infrastructure, you can deploy floating solar fast to a hydropower dam, freeing up space for renewable energy production with the lowest capex and with high output of the system. Also getting the advantage of increased efficiency from water cooling. Hybridization with hydropower is the key to integrate more renewables. Because you're dealing with all these multivariable parameters in a very complex system, it's impossible to do all those things manually, so we're automating decision-making here by providing the best digital tools in order to optimize the performance of the renewable energy plants and ultimately provide the highest value of energy being produced and delivered to the grid. The site for the Hydrosan project is the Magat Dam in the Philippines. We chose Magat as a test site because we have a fantastic hydropower reservoir already there. We have just completed construction on a battery storage site and we have a small pilot floating solar which we plan to expand. We have a fantastic team operating in the Philippines with engineers and operation managers which will really help support this pilot. We'd also get involved in designing and defining the different operating and technical framework in terms of what's the best way to run these things. There's a regulatory side as well. It is a liberalized power market, which means we're able to test the value of the pilot in the market, which is a fantastic and relatively unique opportunity. We view Hydrosun as, as one of the key enablers for us to realize that dream of adding all the capacity and then operating it centrally and holistically in a way that's most optimal and most efficient and most profitable. The main objective may not be the actual plant, but how we can use the knowledge base and the experience from the project to replicate and scale hybrid power plants. You know, we want to do many of these plants. All the rest of the world, you have different regulatory frameworks and you can take what template that we can develop here and then see and what's the best way to actually make it work in their respective geographies. The partnership we established is based on green platform funding and it's a very efficient way to bring various capabilities, skill set, companies, technologies together to work on an integrated system and help to de-risk those technologies. And also accessing full-scale hybrid plant operation. Unless we solve the intermittency issue, we will never realize the true value of renewable energy in the world. Hybridization of a portfolio of assets also reduces the risk the asset owner takes towards the market. Because if you have a lot of solar and wind in the energy market, the prices can get very low. By hybridizing a portfolio of assets, you will be more robust towards future changes in the market price technology can be de-risked, so therefore the project could be more commercially viable and more investments will follow, which will then 
help us to scale up renewable energy industry. We can look ahead to new HydroSun projects where we look at markets where they have intermittency challenges but maybe not all the tools available, for example, not having access to hydropower. So that will be a new frontier as well to continue scaling because the intermittency challenge will happen in many, many markets and we need to find a solution fit for those markets.